Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Eric Bai to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is six foot one, medium high work rates, right footed, three star skills, three star weak foot. In regards to traits, he does have the power header trait. In game, he's got 83 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. So obviously when the card is formatted that way as a defender, it makes the most sense to give these guys the shadow chemistry style because of the plus 15 for acceleration, plus 10 for sprint speed. In his case, a plus eight. Uh, no shooting presence. Passing's not bad for a center back. Uh, from time to time, it may not be the best, but it'll be usable. Uh, dribbling, again, is going to be very interesting to find out whether or not it's going to be good because the fact that his agility is an 84 with 76 balance, I'll be able to judge what he's like transitioning left and right. So I really hope it doesn't feel like uh, a Chiellini when it comes to chasing after players like if you use a player like Chiellini you really have to use like a four at the back formation very generic defensive tactics but a little bit low depth because if anyone passes him you kind of have to chase after and if their chase after animation isn't great then that's something that we're gonna obviously see in game now obviously the chase after animation is basically like you know I always explain it like with Diego Carlos other Millie Town the way that those guys kind of aggressively push towards players is really really helpful defensively especially when someone kind of gets past you right um so with this card dribbling we're going to be trying that out in regards to on the ball and off the ball movement uh defending on the card for base card stats is good with the shadow chemistry style we're going to essentially make it perfect so i'll show you guys what that will look like uh with the chemistry style so weird that the shadow is not recommended because it is a defender but it is what it is so you can see that with the pace boost in the card, he gets a plus 15, plus 8. But then the defensive boost, we're essentially making it perfect, right? So very, very important there. And then last but not least, his physical. His physical is basically perfect as well, right? 99 strength, 98 aggression, 97 jumping. Uh, very important, again, with center backs to have really good pace as well as a 98 aggression because it just helps them be defensively better. You know what I'm saying? So with the medium high work rate, 6 foot 1 height body type i'm kind of curious about because i haven't seen eric by in a while in this game high and average in this game so we'll see what that looks like in game so uh normally guys with center back reviews the formation that i like to use the most is the three at the back the three at the back is not necessarily the formation you use to strictly try out the player right it's because oh like i'm going to use this guy in a three at the back formation no 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 it's just to try out certain variables of the card and whether or not he will be able to compensate for certain areas when you know an opportunity arises for the opponent right so the way that i'm going to be lined up with uh this squad is we're going to go ahead Ooh, this is not i think this is not my team i think this is premier league team i think it might be a different one actually that i might have to use here my boy says that he like he leaves a squad but i don't know if it's this one or if it's not so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy that just to make sure um Copy Premier League team, perfect. Okay, so this way, we'll be able to go with the three at the back formation. I'll show you guys what we're gonna be looking at here. So three at the back, we can go three, four, three. And we're gonna have Eric Bailly playing as the center center back. So again, with the shadow chemistry style, we'll be able to test them out that way. Three, four, three. We'll do, we'll do constant pressure. Get players out of position. Players in the box set to high, with set to high as well. And these guys will go ahead and tell him to join the attack. Join the attack, and then we'll use Eric Bailly as the defensive player there. So, let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully, he's a beast in the center back area, because, again, Eric Bailly back in the day was a really, really good card, but the game mechanics are different nowadays. So, he may be good, maybe bad. We'll see what's up with him in-game. So, let's go into a game, see how he plays. All right, so we'll switch to the three at the back formation. Nice little offside trap like crazy. And uh, we'll see what happens once we select the card. His dribbling is a little bit sloppy. It's not like super responsive. Uh, it's not as bad as Chiellini. Yeah, definitely not as bad as Chiellini. But, you know, with the sloppy center backs, not everyone's going to be top tier, agile, great balance type of players, right? So pretty decent. Okay, three at the back. We'll just kick this ball away. Here we go. The last time I was playing against, he uh, once he scored the one opportunity against me, for some reason he stopped playing, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. I had one clip that I recorded where Bai actually did a great tackle and Neymar scored it and uh, wasn't recording it, so... But uh, it would have been nice for, to show you guys, you know? 
Ooh, nice. Wasn't even using Eric Bailly right there. His defending was actually pretty solid. His marking was pretty nice, too. Didn't have to use him at all. No second man press. Nothing was able to intercept that ball really nicely. We'll just score that goal randomly. All right, select him and then just accelerate with him quickly. Okay, so he's not he's not a heavy emphasis type player. That's good. That's really good. Okay, that's the, that's the most important thing I had to try out with the card is uh, movement when I'm actually controlling him. Like he doesn't feel like uh, a heavy person in regards to acceleration, moving left and right really quickly. So he definitely has those base characteristics that he used to have back in the day that made him such a good card. So that's solid. I'll put him out of position so I can chase after this guy right here. Hmm. So in a situation like that, you can still tell that his body type is not uh, an agile body type, right? Like the way that he's going to chase after player, you can kind of tell by the animation that it's like a slow running after animation, which I'm going to be honest with you guys. That's the way that defense should be. You know, if the guy breaks free against me in that situation, even if Eric, Eric Bay has a chase after him, yeah, he's through on goal. But in regards to FIFA mechanics, a player like Diego Carlos, Edder Militão, because they're lighter on their feet as center backs, uh, it's always going to be a nice thing to have in those situations where, you know, if you do ever overcommit, the player can catch up to the player there. But um, it's more of a mistake that I'm making more than is Eric Bailly's fault, if that makes sense, you know? Because, look, this transitioning is really, really good. He gets the ball possession base as well, even though he pushes it a little bit. Um, that variable is just a, a specific moment that I'm trying to, like, analyze with the card. Possession base right there. Great little body presence right there. So again, it's just it's just different variables you want to test out with the card, right? The chasing after animation is mostly going to come down to your own poor defending. Like if he gets past you like that, it's really your fault, right? I want to see what his dribbling under pressure is like. Yeah, it's definitely a better card than Chiellini. I'll definitely tell you guys that much, especially with upgrades in this game. Make the pass right away. Chase after now. Nice. Yeah. Again, it's just the it, that it's just the chasing after animation. That body type will affect him a little bit, but guys, it's gonna be a beast center back to use. Um, and like I said, it's more your fault than it is the card's fault for not compensating for you there. Really bad challenge by me there. I just want to see what he's like over here. We're gonna run back here, stop, transition again, possession based. Those tackles are always gonna be random, but it does pretty well so far, guys. There's really not too much that you have to check out with center backs, right? Like when, especially when they're like massively improved. Like if we're talking like regular center backs that have like 72 pace with like 80 defending, 80 physical, then yeah, you probably have to test them out a little bit more. But when it comes to like massively improved cards, you can kind of tell that they're the it factor right away just because of the base characteristics that you need. It's like three or four things with center backs. Maintain position here. Nice. Good little tackle right there, too. Yeah, the guy the guy will be a good center back, guys. I'm telling you this right now. He'll be fine. Passing in a moment like that, not going to be great, especially on a weak foot. Definitely wanted to try that out. Under pressure off of a bad dribble. Um, again, your fault if you kind of like do that kind of stuff. But again, there are center backs meta-wise where that, you know, they'll compensate for something like that happening. Generic positioning right there to get that ball back. I do think Eric Bayou will actually make a very good center back in a in a regular 4-4-2 formation. Like if you're using him as one of the center backs, he'll definitely play that position really well for sure. And I think it'll be for like most game styles. Again, you have to be a little bit careful with the high pressure situation ones because again, the players that feel like hybrids of center back, fullback kind of uh, players. Those are the ones that are mostly ideal to use, especially if you're playing a three at the back formation or a high depth oriented um, tactic where, you know, if your player is caught out of position, they have the characteristics to run back into position, right? So um, Eric Bai may not be the best at doing that, but if you're playing like regular FIFA 4-4-2, uh, will definitely be very nice for a card like this. He'll play well for you. All right, guys, so final verdict on the Eric Bailly card. If you guys end up getting this card and you give him a shadow chemistry cell, you'll be looking at a good center back. Few things we're going to talk about 
here and there, right? So in regards to dribbling, his dribbling is not going to be the most responsive. There's obviously more responsive center backs, but if you're not talking about full meta, his dribbling is perfectly fine. He doesn't feel as sluggish as the Chiellini card. The Chiellini card in regards to movement off the ball and, you know, when he has the ball his, at his feet, it wasn't necessarily the greatest and it was very noticeable in regards to certain defensive plays. Uh, I felt like Eric Bai definitely felt significantly better than him. I guess because of the 84 agility, 90 reactions, all that kind of stuff definitely helps out with, uh, with all of that. Couple of things, right? Defensively, the card feels fast, especially when you select him to move into space because of all the things that he actually has, right? The pace is essentially perfect with the sh shadow chemistry style. Defense is essentially perfect and physical is essentially perfect. But it was really important that he gets dribbling stats that are actually quite decent in certain areas, right? Especially above mid 70s for certain areas and then the 84 agility and 90 reactions with the medium high work rates right so it's a very good card if you guys end up getting it you know if you're using like a regular 442 formation 4231 4321 with you know five and five for balance instructions or balance tactics for your defensive tactics he'll be perfectly fine guys he's actually a pretty good center back uh wouldn't necessarily say he's like whoa like two or three years ago where you could basically use him for the entire year because there's obviously better center backs that exist but is he himself a good center back for you know manchester united links or premier league links absolutely he's actually pretty solid so hopefully you guys enjoy this review today shadow chemistry style is a card i would definitely recommend for him because uh he actually feels he feels pretty solid it's just the chase after animation when the guy if you're playing like a high depth with like high pressure where it could potentially be a problem but that's also you risking it using a player like this right like it's and it's not like completely sluggish somewhat similar to Chiellini he definitely still feels better than that especially when he's ch chasing after a, an attacker when he gets in behind right so it's mostly your fault if he gets in behind anyways right so if, again if you're using regular defending he'll be he'll be perfectly fine Hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.